Hiya! This will be my last day picking apples because it's going to be winter now. Now this is what I have harvested today. So that's Bramley apple there. And there's red apples. So I'm going to do apple crumble for that. And these are actually eating apples, so yeah, but I'm going to mix that. So. First ever video featured Keith's house and the farm. Na patuy daghang dahon sa kahoy. Well, karo nga tagak na. One great British culture I adore is their love for the wild life. That's why nagtanum sila ani. This is a berry shrub. Well, during winter, it's difficult for the birds to find food, so people plant berries for them to eat during the cold season. This one is a berry tree and he's got, I think, four, yeah, four berry trees for the birds to enjoy. Yeah, and they've grown. Yeah. Some do, but Look at this. Big ones from the top where they fall, they tend to get broom badly. Mm. A proper fire. <laughs> yeah. That's a proper fire. Yeah. You don't see them very often there. Not. Yeah. Ours electric. And then yeah. the grandma and granddad, they, they used to have sacks of coal delivered. I oh, we used to do. Mm. It used to be a coal man used to come. Yeah, well, we still get lots of shrub on down in Compton off us to drop it off. But uh, when we first came, we had a sort of few boilers in the kitchen. And uh, I used to, uh, a bloke my dad knew him from the car down in Walsall, one of his pals, used to sell, buy coal off the mines because they got processing the coal. Mm -hmm. And a lot of them never used it. He used to buy it off him cheap and bomb it. I could keep, he brought them up. I could keep the whole house. During this harvest season, I've been coming here almost every other week to pick the apples and I love it. because they are so high I can't reach them so he bought me a kuhit right, this is an apple kuhit or fruit kuhit
really good. Now this is what I have harvested today. This will be the last one because it will be winter. Thank you, apple tree. It's really, really good that we plant so that we have something in return as well. So, um, yeah, I'm going to make apple crumble for this. Yeah. Now it's time to make apple crumble. Before that, I am going to peel these apples. I have combined um, the uh, Bromley apples, which are the cooking apples, the green one and the red ones as well. I just like to do that because I, I really want to use as well what I have and like that. So I'm going to peel that one and then um, bake it. Yeah, time to make apple crumble. Apple crumble is a great British tradition. Well, almost all households here know how to make apple crumble. So, yeah. Now I have finished uh, peeling the apples. <laughs> it wasn't that easy. It was really a lot as well. So it took me a while to peel the apples. But yeah, it will just stay there for a little bit just to extract the juice. And then I'll proceed to the next step after. So apples have been cooked and all we need to do is just put a crumble on top. So this is how it should look like. Well, the crumble is just a mixture of flour and um, butter. So into the oven for 40 minutes or until the crumble will be brown and then it will be ready. Apple crumble is baked and it's ready to serve. It is actually ideal to serve it with vanilla ice cream, thickened cream, but for me, I think custard is the best.